thank you to the rabbit hole not a perfect location for this book launch because whether you're going through redundancy or a bit confused about your direction in your career sometimes it can feel like you're going down into a rabbit hole wouldn't you agree sometimes it's a bit dark Sometimes it's a bit scary and it can be very, very exciting and exhilarating. But at every point in the way, you have to make a decision as to what you're going to do. Should I go this way or that way? How are you going to play the cards that you're dealt in life? And what you don't want to do is to leave it to chance. And that's why I wrote this book. Because I want people to be able to make informed decisions. And this book gives you practical guidance and advice so that you can move forward in your career. What I've done is create a seven-step process that is embedded within the book that takes you right from confused and a bit daunted, really not knowing what you want to do, to rebuild your self-confidence, your resilience, your self-reliance, identify what's really important and makes you tick in your life, and then go through the entire job search process right through to how to even really work with recruiters. And we've got some amazing recruiters in the room tonight. Don't blush, Adele, I can see you there. <laughs> okay, right through to negotiating for the best offer that you can possibly get and trans transferring and onboarding into your new role. What I want to do, and I know it sounds a little bit grandiose, but I want to make career guidance affordable and accessible to everybody in the world. It sounds a bit big, doesn't it? But I think that I'm getting there because the book was published in November last year. In December, it reached number 26 on Amazon.com. <laughs> on Amazon UK, it reached number 13. And on, and on Amazon Australia, in the career section, it reached number one for four days in a row. <laughs> getting through to people and I know it's helping an awful lot of people and there's one wonderful lady here today who, Carol Burton, where are you? I know you're there, oh I can see your hand there, thank you. She read the book, she made an amazing new transition and then she sent me an email saying Jane, I'll buy four more to give to my friends who might need it. So that really was such an endorsement, thank you Carol. Now writing a book is not an easy process, it's kind of long and arduous a little bit daunting and at times I was just over it so I couldn't have done honestly I was so over it those of you other authors out there especially the KPI group you know what it's like and I couldn't have done it without the support of so many friends and many many of you are in the room today so I need to say thank you to an awful lot of you and I don't want to miss anybody out so if you forgive me I'm actually going to get my notes <laughs> Okay, I know cheating a little bit, but I just want to make sure that I say everything that I want to say because this is the one time that I can actually thank all of you at the same time. And also, if I'm reading the notes, it means I'm not going to get emotional. You know how passionate I get about things, so I might get a bit tearful, but I think if I'm reading it, I'll be okay because Joe has told me I'm not allowed to cry, so I'm going to <laughs> So, first of all, to my family, to my husband Tony and my beautiful daughters Jess and Jo, who are a constant source of love and support. I go, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh get over it! I promise, I promise, I, promise, I, promise, I, promise, I could not have done this without you, and I love you. If you say it powerfully, I won't, I won't get too emotional. And to their partners, Mark and Vasily, and my wonderful stepchildren, Hayley, Timmy, and their partners, Hannah and Mark. Uh, thank you so much for being so very, very supportive. And to my oldest and dearest friend, Gwen, who has seen me through every single career and life transition. We've gone through a few doozies, and thank you so much for being there for me. Okay. To my publisher, Paul Hicks, my amazing editor, Jacqueline Pretty, and the very detail-oriented proofreaders, who include my husband, Tony, <laughs> Derek Pollock, and Robin Payne, and my distributor, Dennis Jones and Associates. My gratitude always. Thank you so much. There are no mistakes in this book, not one. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. If anyone sees a, a mistake, can you please tell me right away and it'll be Tony, Derek, or Robin Scott. <laughs> I have many of my clients and colleagues featured in this book, and I must thank each and every one of you. Russell Beach, Peter Morris, Graham Weeks, Joe Green, Brian Quirk, Peter Tobin, John Hanley, Peter Black, Catherine Nadney-Smith, Donna Thomas, Norman Fox, 
Professor Satar Bawani from Singapore, and the amazing executive search firm consultants, Adele Brown and Jenny Wong from The Bolt People, Brad Eisenhuth from AXR Recruitment, Rachel Bodwell from Prime Access, and Peter Burris from Lloyd Harrington. This book is all the more valuable because you're in it. Thank you so much for your support. To my Lee Heck Harrison family, when you're there, hiding somewhere, you are so wonderful and so privileged. These are amazing coaches that I'm blessed to work alongside, and they make a difference every single day to every person that they coach. And not forgetting Bridget Irvin, who kept me on track by dangling the French champagne carrot to get me to 70,000 words. So thank you, thank you so much, Bridget. <laughs> to my KPI family, who are here as well, you wonderful people, you're a talented group of entrepreneurs who are my constant source of support and inspiration. And a huge thank you to my author mentor, can't be here tonight, Andrew Griffiths, who's up in Cairns. And thank you to Steve-O, who is a radio broadcaster and DJ who has done the fabulous music mix tonight. And it will come on again after the speeches. So he's an amazing DJ on local city radio. And you must listen to the Steve-O show on Mondays and Fridays. You'll love it. And I must say a big thank you to the Fragrant Blue. Thank you, Julie Ferris, for these amazing chili displays. She deliberately created them for me so that they match. They match my banner, the chilies. And for anyone looking for a job, if you want to take a bite out of those edible cherries, you'll be a hot candidate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be a comedian, I know. Okay, but thank you, Mark, my future son-in-law, for your wonderful photographic abilities, and the lovely Jessica Norwood for doing the videographer. She will be a famous film producer one day. And a big thank you to Zoe Upton, Michelle Jenno, Karen Sander, and Brad Eisenhuth for your help tonight, not forgetting Sharon Swift, who has been great emotional support to me, and to Georgie, who runs the Health. Okay? So thank you very, very much for the